Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Jagged Alliance 2 uh, 113, a mass edition. Probably gonna get those swapped around quite a bit. Watch each video to find out which one I do. But anyway, when we last left off, Omerta got attacked two more times. We successfully defended in both cases. I did a little bit of doctor patient on our two injured guys here for just about a couple hours. Didn't get too far, but uh, that's alright. Um, so I did find out what ballistic trauma means. If you highlight here, it will tell you the effect. And it's actually gone down slightly. It was one tick higher than this, but it looks like treatment will cure it. So it is nice that uh, such things were being taken care of. But we have a job to do here in that we need to freaking see the rebel leader here. Yeah! This map of Omerta is different. It makes me wonder, actually, if I choose to go here. Ooh, let's see a new cutscene, assuming it's a new cutscene. Could be the same cutscenes. This better be good. Forgive the intrusion, your highness, but one of our north patrols has been attacked. Same cutscenes. Elliot, you idiot! We crushed those rebels in Omerta! How can it be? <laughs> From what we have learned, your majesty, the rebels seem to have some sort of foreign aid, commando types. We speculate they arrived on the helicopter that was spotted earlier. Commando types? What sort of commando types? That's a lot of question marks. They may be hired mercenaries, your highness. There weren't many. What? How would the rebels get the means to recruit mercenaries? Well, no matter. Send me their bodies for examination. Uh, um, the rebel party seems to have used the element of surprise to their advantage, my queen. They defeated us. Barely. Send my troops to the location at once. Yes, your highness. Great. You already did that two or three times. But yeah, that's the standard cutscene. You can see a little more of the palace in that case. But it looks like I'm moving to uh, the next sector. So I wonder if... Like I'm there, Ace. I wonder if this means that... Um... That the, the, the towns are not just one big map, that each individual map is larger. That would be kind of crazy. But I do believe the rebel base is located here, if it's the same map that I remember. Um, isn't it... I don't remember where the hell that building... Oh, wait, no, aren't I supposed to find... I want to say it's here, maybe. There's an NPC I can talk to. Uh, Fatima. And then I give her the letter. I know she's around here somewhere. I'm going to go with this building, though, because I think this this one has the rebel base, maybe? Or is she in the other sector? Crap. I don't remember... Well, we might not need Fatima, actually. Done. Done. Uh, we just need to find. I want to see Dimitri. And be like, yo, here's a letter. Maybe. Unless I'm just doing it wrong. This building seems to be somewhat intact. Done. Garage here. Oh yeah. Oh, you can drive vehicles now, which is kind of crazy. Anyone here? I mean, this building's in pretty good shape. Remember, none of this stuff has anything in it. Nothing. Which I'm kind of grateful for in I'm some ways. Well, I guess this means I just need to look around until I find what I'm... Oh, wait, no. Hello. 
Yes. Friendly. I do not have. All right, well, I have something for you. I do not want it. Don't want it. Done. Uh. Means I gotta go find Fatima in the other sector. I think. I'm on it. Done. Uh, what should I do? It's all right. Don't worry, Kaboom. We got this. Uh, Fatima. I want to say you're in this. I'm building. on it. It's one of the central ones. Oh wait, I see a dot. You, Fatima. Yes, you have question marks above your head, so you're important. Done. Hello. Why are you here? Friendly. How could it be that you were sent by Enrico? He has been dead for more than Enrico? ten years. Shivaldori? Yes. Here's some proof, lady. Hmm. A letter from Enrico Chivaldori. He has not forgotten us. Oh, are they gonna take me right to the awesome? Do not move, and no one will die. Fatima say they are here to help us. She say she have proof, Carlos. Enrico has enlisted mercenaries to aid us in the struggle. I have a letter addressed to Miguel. It is signed Miguel. by Enrico himself and contains details of the night we helped him flee Auruco. Details only he would know. Enrico? Chilvatori? Most suspicious. I question his reason. I do not. gonna say it I do not yeah let me see this letter here hello Miguel hmm it be true Enrico has sent men to help us on behalf of my rebel force and the people of Arulco I welcome you we are very much in need of your aid Diana wishes to remove Omerta from the map of this country she is evil, a driven bitch. That looks like a different that portrait for Ira. I'm sure our friends have heard of her nature. She's not, not really worthy of a new portrait, if you ask me. Uh, yeah! <laughs> I have lost over 30 men in the last month. My force oh, is kaboom. down to the people you see here. But I do have a few trusted people living in the Arulco countryside. The people of Arulco would overthrow Didana with pleasure, but they live in fear of her, and rightfully so. She be heartless and brutal. She has robbed our country of its money and its soul. Getting their confidence be our biggest problem. The people must feel we are capable of defeating her. Yet, without their support, we cannot. We are missing soldiers and equipment. You could not have come at a oh, better time. I don't really time. have much either, bro. We are short of food too, Miguel. We need safe passage to Drazen, or more people will die. Yes. Carlos be my close advisor. He is right. He usually be right. Making a safe route to Drazen to get supplies be a priority. If you can remove Didana's forces from your path, there is a priest in Drazen named Father Walker. He be a drunk of poor judgment. However, he will be sympathetic to our situation. Find him, and tell him no more than you need to. I will send others to fetch the supplies he will gather. I wish you luck, and express my gratitude. Perhaps now I am in a position to offer the services of Dimitri. He is a good man. I mean, Dimitri's okay, but... It does not seem right. I can spare Ira. She is cool. quick learner and knows the priest well. Alright, so, Dimitri. I would like this. I can learn much. We now have Dimitri. He's okay. He's got a little bit of experience. Not good, great marksman, but he's a good mechanic. He's got some marbles for some reason. And some throwing knives. And a crappy little six shooter. That's fine. And I believe yes. I can recruit Ira, who's got her gun out here. 
I'm Ira. I came to a roll call five years ago as part of an effort to supply humanitarian aid. I soon realized the only aid they needed was in getting rid of Deidreana, by whichever means possible. Ira is very smart and a quick learner. She just has a very annoying voice and is kind of a poor shot, but I believe she also has some medical skill, which is good. So let's see if we can bring her in. All right. I could be of help with some of the ins and outs of this country and its people. But I must tell you, I'm not a professional like you guys. I'm afraid my marksmanship is a little weak for a soldier. Miguel used me mostly as a medic and a lookout. Anyways, I'm sure we'll make out okay. Let's get going. I'll lead the way. All right. This is a different portrait than what I remember. You got my ear. But that's okay. So, you know, 84 wisdom is pretty good. She's got a little bit of gear here. She's got a first aid kit, which is really nice. She's got some medic medical ability. She'll be a good member to have on the team. And so we've got two more yes. dudes. Fine. Great. And they're free, which is yes. Yes. so let's get out of here. You yes. got my ear. Get used to hearing you got my, you got ear. my ear. Uh eventually we can get Carlos and uh Miguel, but that won't be for a while. Now you gotta take over more towns, and then you can go back here, and they will spare them eventually. Yes. Pretty sure these crates are empty. Nothing. Sometimes Nothing. you get lucky, and they've got supplies. Nothing. But I don't think that has been implemented in this current version of the game. We've got some squads of enemies nearby. What I'm actually gonna do real quick. Oh, well, March is very loyal. Sweet. Got where I needed to be. What's on the agenda? Uh, I am going to, real quick, uh, give these guys some not total garbage. At least she's got a helmet. That's something. Can... Uh, I need to give them just not total crap here. Uh, unfortunately, all I really have are shotguns. The M1 carbine would be good, but I don't have a ton of ammo for it. I'd spare enough for Dimitri, though. So that's what we'll give him. And let's see, 15 accuracy, 40, 22. give him this gun instead because it's better than his speed loader I don't know why he has marbles fine you know whatever he's got a sidearm now he's got not a ton of ammo but it'll do um, it's, it's better than what he's got, essentially. What is it? Did he have any? He's okay for armor. Ira, what do you got for a sidearm here? We'll give her a shotgun, because why not? There are definitely worse things for her to have. And I think Kaboom can give up a few. Yeah. So there. We'll just put it there for now. I don't even think any of this other stuff I can really give them. Um, as for the, the crates here, they're very heavy. There's not much I can do with them, honestly. Looks like more troops are moving out, so. Done. I made it. Let's do something I think already. We do have squads on the move here. That's what it looks like. Uh, I don't really want to engage them. 
uh, in the forest. But if there's if there's a bunch of enemies to the coming from the south. Yes. I almost wonder if it would be better to just hole up. Uh, no, I don't know. I think. What? Classic boom. Oh, that's going to be interesting. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. You were good boss. boss. <laughs> I wonder if yeah. I'm going to need to have kaboom leave. Um Man, this is tricky. I don't really know what to do, and it's been about 16 minutes, so I'm wondering if I should just end the video here. And when I get back, we'll, um, I guess try to figure out what the hell we want to do. I don't know what this sector looks like. I'm kind of curious, in all honesty. Uh, fighting in the woods kind of sucks, but if we have snipers and stuff, it might be kind of easy. We need to make our way over here, though. Man, that's a little rough. I don't have this, the handy dandy little outlines for what constitutes a town sector anymore either. I wonder if it's just the general area, but I think I need to get here. Which means I'm having to go through this squad. Which could be bad. It could be great, but it could be really bad too. I don't know. But for now, I think it's a good point to stop the video. I'm going to think it over a little bit. And when I get back, I guess we'll make our move forward. And maybe we'll go through here. Because it says there's only six guys. Well, there's 23 here. Numbers are always... Uh, fewer is better, usually. I don't think I can train militia here, right? No, you can train militia in Omerta. It makes me wonder if... Get item... Item. I don't know what that means. Go, wait, so he's going to A9. No. So he's going to A9 to get items? Like, does that mean he's just moving stuff into this sector? I don't know. I'll figure it out next video or I'll do it off screen or something. So, <clears throat> excuse me, your throat's going out here. Might be a good chance to stop recording. Anyway, I'm rambling on here. I'll shut up. As always, guys, <laughs> thank you for watching my videos, and I will see you in the next one. So, take care until then.